Have you ever been frustrated that you just can't find that information on YouTube? You know you've seen a video, you know it's out there, but you can't get back to that information. I'm Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, where we help seniors understand the complexity of YouTube. Today in this video, I want to talk a little bit about searching YouTube and finding information. As an administrator of a large channel, I often get asked by viewers, how do I find the video that was produced last week? Or how do I find so-and-so's video clip that was in last week's show? Well, I've done a number of videos about this, and I thought I would tackle that from a different perspective today. I'm going to take you through the creator's journey, how we actually produce videos, upload them, and how we make it easy for you to find information. I think if you look at it from a different side that you might find this easier to understand. So let's give it a try today and see if this explains things and makes it a bit easier for you. So what I've done today is I've created a demo video that we're going to upload and we're going to go through the process of making this video searchable. So let's see how we do this. So as you see, the background, I'm in what we call our YouTube studio. And this is uh, software produced by, uh, by YouTube. But if you look up here on the right, you'll see a little button called Create. You see where I'm hovering over here, and you'll see that it's, uh, it says Create. So if you have a Google account, you too can join YouTube and upload videos. You just have to apply for that. It's free of charge. If you have a Google account, you can do that. And you too can go through this process I'm going to show you today. Now, you'll see it says create. So you won't see this button unless you have a YouTube account. But if you do, then this button will be available wherever you are in YouTube. Now, I'm in my creator studio right now, but I could just be watching a YouTube video and you will see this button here. So this button is available no matter where you are as create. So let's hit create and I'm going to go to upload video and that brings up this view here. And now I'm going to select the video that I've created for you and I'm going to upload this video. So we're going to come down here and we're going to select a file and I'm going to come up here and here's the video that I've made uh, for our demonstration purposes. Now I'm going to click this and then I'm going to hit open and then we're going to upload the video. I want you to pay attention to two things. First of all, how fast it uploads. This is not a huge file, but it does upload very quickly, but I do have a one gigabit connection uh, for, for my internet, so it goes fairly fast. But in the background, it's going to, going to start to process it. And YouTube takes this video and processes the video. We're going to talk a little bit about what, what that actually means. So watch, I'm going to open now. And it's going to quickly select that. And now it's already uploaded the video. And at the bottom here, you'll say upload complete. Processing will begin shortly. So what actually happens now as this video is being processed by YouTube? Very interesting. You'll see it start to being processed now. What happens is, is that it takes the video and transcribes it. Yes, it takes the whole video, all the audio on there, and it creates a printed transcription. That's pretty cool. So yes, it's all the videos on YouTube are transcribed. Now, why would they do that? Well, first of all, it makes it very easy to search. And they have to search and make sure your video meets community guidelines. So if you're putting things up there or saying hate speech or things that shouldn't be there, it's very easy to detect that. And you would your video, of course, wouldn't be published. So before it actually is published, it has to go through a series of checks to make sure that the um, make sure that you meet community guidelines. But the transcript is also available for you. And we're going to talk a little bit about that in a minute. Now, the processing that YouTube does often takes a number of minutes to do. Uh, if, if you're uploading a video in 4K, it can take 
quite a bit of time. So we're going to let that work in the background and we're going to come back to it. But I want you to remember that, yes, all videos are transcribed because we're going to do some interesting things with that in a moment. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this and let it process in the background. So we're just going to close out of here. So what I'm showing you now is a video that I produced for our Monday show on January the 20th. And in the description here, you will see as we come down, you'll see that I have uh, chapters. And these chapters are time stamped along with um, the presenters sections uh, in the Monday show. Uh, now, what is exactly does that mean? When you click on these links, it will take you exactly where you want to go in, in the show. So I've actually made these links and inserted those. And I've been doing this now uh, since chapters came out about four years ago. All our Monday shows have chapters inserted in there. And if you look in the description, you just click on the section you want and it will take you right there. You can also uh, draw your mouse across the line in the video and it will show you where the chapters are as well. I'll show you that in a minute. But anyway, I have made these and I add them. Now for creators, creators can actually make the chapters in the software they use to create the videos. In Camtasia, the software I use to, to create these videos, there's an option so that I can actually insert the chapters uh, prior to uploading the video. There's also other third-party software such as, uh, such as TubeBuddy that can add the chapters in after the, after the video is uploaded. And in fact, I find it easier in my workflow and I just use TubeBuddy to add the chapters after the video is uploaded to YouTube. But I want you to watch now as I come down in the um, in the sequence here, these are all um, uh, items that you can tick and check off uh, for your video. And as we come down here, I want to just show you. There's an item here for automatic chapters, and this normally is ticked on. That's the default situation. So if I don't make chapters in the video, YouTube automatically makes them. Now, it doesn't actually show up in the description, but it will in a Google search. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So what happens is, is that if you don't turn this off like this, then you will find that it will make, it will actually automatically make those chapters for you. And those show up in a YouTube search. All right, let's go over from our YouTube studio into the, uh, into our YouTube video this is the so we'll take this and let's go over here and we'll actually see this is the video as you would see it on uh, on youtube now the first thing i want to draw your attention to is if we come down here you'll see these are all the chapters that i have made and you'll also see that if you click on this let's see if we want to have a look at uh, new features of an old app by huey we'll just click this and it takes you right to uh to Huey and uh, his presentation. The other thing you should look at is if you look at the red line on the bottom here, you'll see this is how far you played. But if I bring my mouse and I come across here, you'll see all the chapters that are there. You can see as we've made these chapters, you can see them and it will um, as well, you can see where they are. And again, if you just click on them, it'll take you right there. So if you wanted to, come back and you're going along here, new features of an old app. We can come down to the beginning, just click this, and this will be, uh, will take you right to Huey's uh, presentation. All right, what I wanna show you now is let's do a Google search on a problem. I've asked Google how to change the font size in Camtasia. That of course is um, one of the video editing pro programs I use. So when we search this, we will come up with, first of all, with the new search that is in um, Google, it comes up with an AI overview. So it gives me some information here. On the right-hand side, it gives me a video that I can watch about, about the editing. But as it comes down here, uh, there's another video which actually has the chapter outlined for me. 
how to make fonts bigger. And if you look down here, it starts at 017 for the, for the part of the video that I want. So in summary, what the Google search will do is it will actually choose the chapter or the part of the video based on your search. It even gets better. <laughs> so when you are doing a Google search, you will often see references made to YouTube videos. And how they can do this is by the transcription originally of that information. And let me go back and talk a bit about that now. <clears throat> All right, I want to come back and look at our video, episode 250 again. And let's say that this is a long video and that I had not put chapters in. You didn't know really what the video was about and you wanted to quickly summarize this one hour video. Man, it's a pretty long, long video. So remember what I said that, that all the videos have been transcribed. In other words, there is a text version of this and you can access it. Now I use a program called YouTube Summary. Now YouTube Summary, I've done actually a video about this. I use it every day, it's simply an extension. I'll put the link uh, down below in the description. Watch what happens now when I, we're looking at this video, let's say it's a video, you're not sure what it's about. Maybe you think you might know something about it or you want, maybe you think you might want to watch the video or maybe it's a long video and you just want to know the plot, so to speak. So we're gonna come up and we're gonna click this button here, which is going to activate YouTube summary and watch what happens. It's now gonna take it and it's going to put it into chat GPT. It's going to take the highlights, timestamp them for us. And it's going to go through and it's going to create its own timestamps and summarize the whole video for you. Here it is all in the, it's going through the whole video and it's going to uh, summarize this and it's going to put timestamps in it for you. So, so it will actually do this for you and then you can actually use these to find specific parts of the video you want to go to. Now here's a pro tip for you, for all those creators who are producing videos. I use this all the time on my own videos to create a description. So all, so, so all you have to do now is type in the chat GPT prompt. Let me just type in summarize for a YouTube description and hit enter. And now it's going to summarize and now it's going to create a summary that's perfect for a YouTube description. That saves me a lot of time. So I use YouTube summary every day because as I'm going through a lot of videos looking for specific content, I often don't want to listen to the whole video. I can use this to instantly, in seconds, summarize the video and get the information out I want. You can save it, keep it, do whatever you want with it. Very useful tool. But remember, all the information on every single video is now always in text and you have access to that. So hopefully the suggestions today will help searching for YouTube videos. But in summary, the most incredible thing happened a couple of weeks ago. And I just have to tell you this because it blew me away. I had no idea this was possible. Now we've talked a lot about AI recently. In fact, I have a whole series about learning AI if you're over the age of 50. And I'll put that in the link below and for the playlist and you can watch the videos for that. But the interesting thing is, is uh, two weeks ago, Bill James gave a talk on our Monday show. It's a, it was about the Windows 11 24H2 update. Now this was uh, very popular. Now what I did on Tuesday afternoon was I cut the section out, edited it and made a video to be uploaded because I wanted to use it for educational purposes. So I created the video of Bill's presentation and uploaded it Tuesday, probably later on Tuesday, uh, as a standalone video. 
immediately it was uh, well received and has had over 1,100 views. But on Wednesday morning when I woke up, I got a comment about the video. And the comment was, you can see this on the screen, the comment said, ChatGPT suggested this video for me. Now that blew me away, because let's think about it. <laughs> Remember, this isn't Gemini, which is Google, this is ChatGPT. So within 12 hours, ChatGPT had indexed the information on that video. So when someone put a search into ChatGPT, they recommended Bill's video. Unbelievable, within 12 hours. Blew me away, incredible. Now you can see how the information is searched when you're looking for information on YouTube. I'm Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you want to keep informed about further videos we make, please click that like and subscribe. And until we see you again, have a great day. Thank you.